Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm TJ, uh, Steve, uh, from Kayak USA, uh, AZ Kayak Guy. And today I was gonna show you guys a little bit about my trailer setup that I have going on here, but before you do anything, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you uh, like what you see, click that subscribe button so you can be notified by clicking that bell right next to it. Make sure you do that. I'm gonna have a link to my prior shows, like my battery box one, should be right over here. And make sure you guys see all of these shows and then you know what's going on. All right, so let's take it in here just a little bit closer so you can see what's going on with my trailer. All right, that's the extent of my uh, <laughs> TJ impression. But uh, last night we got to a funny uh, conversation and um, I wanted to copy him, you know. This way it's a little more official. I'm just literally trying to be him now. But uh, there you go. All right, so here's the thing. I really, really, obviously everyone likes their boats, but I'll tell you, I've had a lot of fun building and working on my trailer. This is a very easy uh, to build. Actually, that's a straight up lie. It's a Harbor Freight, and it's one of those ones that came in two boxes that weighed a lot. And um, honestly, it was not that easy to build. We had to redo it a couple of times in the middle because the pieces weren't lining up. My dad and my brother-in-law would vouch for me there. It was kind of a pain. As a matter of fact, I didn't really do a whole lot of the work. They did. I ended up uh, sitting around and drinking and hanging out with them. God, I look like a ghost with this lighting. I'm not this pale. This is crazy. All right. Well, anyway, here it is. If you're wondering, yes, I copied the idea from TJ at Kayak USA on almost all of this. So the pods, these are six inch PVCs with locking doors. And then I put the rods in there when we go. And also last time I put, a, I'm a big Red Sox fan, as you guys can see, uh, our flags in there. And then I stuck it in the top um, because kind of obnoxious when they're in the playoffs. But anyway, there's my Sea Ghost 110. <laughs> I'm trying to beat him too much. Oh my God, that was really funny. Uh, yeah, this is the Trash Panda. Been doing stuff to it. Uh, I haven't even put it in the water yet, as you guys hear every stupid video that I make. But um, I added, this is one of the things I messed up on, and I need you guys' help here later. This is not uh, a deck pad, that you, a mat that you can get wet. Um, I made a crucial mistake when I got this stuff. I thought that this would be fine. I believe that this crap is the stuff that goes on the bottom of a, like a cabinet or a drawer. So it's not waterproof, which is a really smart idea being that there's literally a boat coming out of the water sitting on top of it, right? What I did do was though, I painted it and I sealed it up and then I added this deck matting to it. Um, I tried to copy one of the other videos they did with a custom deck mat and I got this off of eBay and as you can see it's kind of crappy. Slats are really wide so it's hard to cut unique shapes into a boat. So it didn't work so I have a bunch of it extra and I laid it on here. Uh, I do like how it works. I added obviously some eye deck lo loops for that and then I added some more of that padding right here on these crossbars with a bunch of zip ties. It doesn't look fantastic, but I do like how it doesn't uh, let the boat slide when they're on top of there. I tried to do a couple of different things. I, at one point I tried to use like JB Weld super glue to see if I could just lay this down flat so that it didn't have the zip ties, but it just ended up looking gross and it didn't work. So outside of that and all of my fantastic decals, uh, because stickers are fun. And uh, there we go, that's the trailer. The one thing I wanted to show you guys about, and I can't really take it out right now, but I did this with my dad. This has become our project. This is one of those extendable canopies for shade. So what we do here in Arizona is the lake that I go to where most people, there's a, a dock, you know, a ramp where you could, a dock, a ramp where you can go prep your stuff and then you park in the parking lot. But with the Jeep and stuff like that, I can honestly go off-roading and find my own more private spot and uh, do it like that. So I got that this year and I will say I enjoy how it looks, how it handles, and uh, what it's gonna be used for. So what we're gonna be able to do is pull right up on the beach. These, this whole thing opens up and out comes a 10 foot by 10 foot maybe? 10 foot by 12 foot? Uh, big canopy. 
that goes out there with poles on the top so it's real rigid. And we can sit there in the Arizona sun underneath the shade uh, while we're cooking or hanging out or however we want to do it. But it works out that way for me, I like it. So I'm going to show you a little bit in a little while how to set it up and I'll put it outside so that you can see what it looks like. I decided not to make my own. So TJ be pissed because it's not a DIY. The install bracket thing was a DIY. But uh, this I bought and I believe it was $110. And I was really stressing that because there's a bunch of videos of how to make your own with a tarp and PVC pipe for like 30 bucks. So I started doing it and the one thing that they all had in common is they look flimsy and they kind of look cheesy. Now I, I'm not trying to say it's always worth the money to spend it to avoid just the looks. If it works, it could work and it could save you money. But I'll tell you, this was the right choice. Those blue tarps that everybody has, they kind of get crinkly, they make a lot of noise, and they don't really set up very sturdy if you do it the way that some of the people on YouTube have been doing it. So I just went ahead and sprung for this. And uh, we had it out, I have pictures in my Instagram page of it, but I'm gonna show you guys what it's like later on when I add it to this video. But the other thing is, the only thing that we really had to do was, if you look, we put it on the side right here because we wanted it at about this height. And if you see why, if you put a chair, you're sitting like right about here. And with the speaker over here and stuff like that, I wanted the tent to go up over your heads. So then when you're standing a little further away, you could still stand up straight, but we'll put chairs down here. But anyway, the hard part wasn't really hard. It just took a little bit of, uh, of experimenting. And to try to mount it to this pole, we used an L bracket. Oh, sorry, we used a bunch of L brackets. Where are you? Right down here on the pole, you can see we pushed two of those, we put them in there. This came with, oops, oh, sorry, a little close. This came with the setup with the, the tent. So all we had to do was drill into this and then mount it and then you know, kind of go like that. So you'll see, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's it's not the most perfectly, you know, organized setup, but it's the same down there and it definitely does the trick. Um, again, these are meant for being mounted to the top of like an SUV or a pickup truck. Um, and uh, so I had to kind of rig up a system on my own on how to make it work. We didn't want to put it right on here. I wanted a little bit of distance. I wanted it up high enough to where, like, like I said, you could sit. But um, I, I dig this a lot. And the time that we have used it, it has been really cool. We don't have to bring, you know, one of these bad boys, you know, these big tents like this. You don't have to bring that anymore or throw it in there. It just goes that way. So anyway, I'm gonna extend this out in a little bit and show you. The one other thing I wanted to say is, not wanted to say, but I guess ask advice for, is one thing that I wanted to do to this trailer for a while. So after getting the, uh, the Sea Ghost, you'll see that I used to have a skipjack. That's my old boat, and then my daughter's boat, and then my wife's is up there. But um, you could fit four boats on here. And my brother-in-law and I used to go to the lake all the time, so sometimes we'd have to use four, my wife and kid, and he was going. Now with this big boy, it's not a whole lot of room. So one of the things I wanted to do was, just to get low so you can see, oh, that's my rocket raccoons, my trash pandas, one for each different body of water that I've been in um, with the trailer. So anyway, I want to do down the side of the whole thing, starting like right where this line is because I can't go too much further into the edge because of this pole. I want to start like right here. And I was thinking about doing a lockable long box. So maybe like using one by sixes, you know, and building it up here to like right here, right? And mounting it right to the deck so that there's a box that goes the length of it with hinges and then locks. And what I really want it for is my Jeep I, I has a small trunk, but honestly, even in my wife's car that has a better trunk, you know, a lot of times you end up losing stuff and throwing stuff away. I, I lost my oar, half of an oar in my drive back from California, which is awful because it could have ended up somewhere I didn't want it to go. I just don't know how I lose some of these things. So what I wanted to do was put this long box on here because if you look, 
it would be the perfect size to just chuck your ore. I would love to not have to, I know it's so lazy, but I would love to just be able to open this up, put three ores, two and one or something like that and then just lock it and then leave it as is um, then you won't have to take them apart I mean you can see now honestly I don't have like the top 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 of stuff that or right there is the replacement one I got from vibe but look it ends up looking like this I have one two three I have two four. I have three ores right here all in pieces and it just kind of is a pain to store them and stuff like that so I was thinking about doing a long box Lockable long box that runs down the whole length, right there. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, maybe that's a future project. I'd like to do it. Anyway, uh, that's it. Let's go show you what it looks like to set it up. All right, so I'm gonna try to set this up in the garage because I have the cars out here and really, for something this dumb, uh, I'm lazy. So let's give this a shot. I think it's gonna go out over to where the camera is, so we'll see how ridiculous this looks. Okay, so it's this big, vinyl, waterproof. And this just rolls right out, up oh, about halfway. And then I'll show you my favorite part. This is my favorite part. This is another reason why I went with fine versus making my own. These poles fit perfectly right in and it folds up. But what's even better than that? There's one side. And this just goes right in to the base part over here. I'm not gonna do the whole thing and secure it down, but I just wanna show how cool it could be. So then, And there you go, let's see it from inside. All right, so I got my flags in the way. So there you go. I guess it did work okay in the garage. Sorry, my flags are kind of blocking it. There you go, check it out, see? From the trailer, goes up there. And I could make it higher, but the point is, check it out, I'm standing up. I'm six feet and I'm just standing here so you can see, it gets a little bit narrow right over here. But the whole point is that there's this big covered area now that you add these, you know, you just put your chairs right here and it's all built in. So here's the cool part I was gonna show you. See up in here, the poles, oh, nope, hello. The poles get stored right here on that hinge. It's pretty, pretty awesome. It just locks right in there and uh, it's all good to go. So anyway, let's just see if I can take it down by myself without breaking anything or looking like more of an idiot. Uh, I already am. I mean, I literally started the show off with a undershirt this morning that I cut the sleeves off and wrote cocky on with a Sharpie. So you tell me how stupid I could possibly look. Don't answer in the, in the comments. I, I actually don't care. I'm aware of how stupid I can look at. I, I don't need a response. 
was a rhetorical. See? Shit's falling down. See what happens when you just pull it in. Okay. So this side, let's see, you just take it, hold it up. Front, it hold it up, put right in there. <coughs> and then, yep. This one leg just bam. You see that? Let's just bring it down this coach. Nope, that is up. Next leg. Put right in there. Then you literally just take this. Try to put a little tension on it. That's the coast guard in you. Make sure that it's right. Bingo, bango. Check it out. Super lightweight, super easy. I know I was kind of stupid doing it. If I did all that by myself, if you had two people, it'd be way better. Anyway, so there you go. There's the trailer. The only other thing that I wanted to do with my dad and I uh, have no idea how we're gonna really do it is I got these off-road lights on Amazon, these little squares, and I want to mount them right here so that when you're here in the morning or if you're camping and hanging out late at night, there's gonna be a battery system on here and then the whole, the lights will light up like floodlights down around the trailer. And I have four of them and our original plan was to drill a hole, mount them right here, run the wire down through the bottom and then to underneath. But originally I thought I'd have room to put a big locking box on the front. But as you can tell, this boat sticks way the hell out. Can't do it. So, I mean, it's not quite adding a fresh water tank <laughs> with a sprayer, but um, you know, uh, it's kind of a cool idea. I think it'd be kind of like your little tent central area. And uh, <laughs> right now is where uh, TJ would be, uh, we see, I like this trailer, you know, but I'm trying to figure out some ways to make it better, a little bit different. So I added a fresh water cannon down here with two billion PSI. That way I can clean the side of the Grand Canyon when I'm down there. Also, I'm gonna lift up these tires. If you can see right here, those are regular tires. I'm gonna lift those up and put 35s on there with a, with a nice nitrous inside. Keep the boat light while you're driving it around. Uh, yeah, also, uh, I'm gonna bring my dog ET with me on my trips and my adventures. But uh, anyway, enough of me being a smart ass. Uh, I am Steve from uh, AZ Kayak Guy. Why do I say from, you know, whatever. I, <laughs> so stupid. I've been podcasting and doing public speaking and announcing jobs for, since I was in high school. And uh, I do it where I did for a living for a national marathon called Bubble Run. So if any of you guys have been to a bubble run, I've been the announcer, DJ, joke teller, and, uh, the point of that story is why I can't put out a good sentence or a, a comic joke on this channel. I don't know. It's because I'm not bright. There you go. All right, everybody. Subscribe. Watch me move this gimbal around. Go find Kayak USA uh, if you don't already. Um, follow them for sure. Click on the subscribe button. Then there's a little bell. You put that on there. Click that bell so that you're notified anytime I go live or have a new update for you. Follow my Patreon account at Kayak USA. That's all I got. I can't think of any more jokes that he does. I've used up all my oppression. Take it easy, everybody.